Hello, Jack the Podcast. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Side Talk. Side Talk. Side Talk. Hey, no bit, no bit, no bit. So today we're gonna, you know, flashback over how many years of life do you have? Years of life, you have. How many years of life do I have? Twenty. How old am I? Uh, am I supposed? <laughs> she's <laughs> one. Uh, she's twenty. Oh, uh, twenty-nine. Yeah, twenty-nine. 20, twenty-nine years of life. Twenty-two years of life, and thirty. Thirty years of life, and see, what have we learned about making friends? That's a very good opening. Thank you. <laughs> F R I E N D S. Okay. okay. What Before was the other? What was the other way we had to really get to spell it out? It's just the song. Oh, I don't know. Song. Okay. Before we do that, we do five rapid quick questions. Five True. quick rapid fire questions. Let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, if you could be any animal, what would it be? If I could be any animal, yeah. I would be a ch- a jaguar. Chicken. Jaguar? Why? I saw this TikTok video of this jaguar playing with the owner. They were just like playing like. Like that Jaguar Jaguar And like it's so dark And mysterious yep. But at the same time It can be so loving Okay yes. I have no idea No Penguin Penguin hey, I want to say That's my answer <laughs> Oh <Penguin>. sorry <laughs> <laughs> Really really Because when I was back in school I had a, a friend uh, Who gave me a penguin Soft toy for my birthday Because he said This is how I walk uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was saying good thing Because I walk Like Waddle dunk. Yeah I had no idea That was mm. when I found out I don't know why There was a uh, backhanded comment But Interesting penguin. She probably mean it in the most nicest way lah. Who's it the was zone, a he. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have no idea but uh, probably a flying squirrel. Mm. Oh, I can see you as a flying squirrel. Right? Like, yeah. Hey, sh- noodles! Sh- <laughs> going here and going there. Okay. I Next. feel like... Ja, oh, ja, sorry. I feel like flying squirrel is also known as a sugar glider. What? They glide on sugar? No, no, no. Yeah, I think it's kind different kind of team, eh? I don't know but it's such a cute name. Sugar yeah, glider. Sugar glider. Is it to glide between trees to find sugar? Uh, I no idea, <laughs> but I think maybe they're smaller and they and wings like like they, when you open it's like webbed. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, butterfly. Like, like butterfly stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Uh what's something that you do not like doing? I know what. Okay, what? I feel like everybody hates this. Washing oil off plastic containers. Oh, oh I can I can oh that's a good one. I can read it. I random. Run down. Yeah. But come off. I put a lot of soap and water, then leave soap. it there, and then after I can eat, it's easier to get rid of. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know my answer. Please, someone else first. Okay. What, <laughs> what is something that people don't like doing, but you like doing, maybe? I change the question for you. I don't know. I think a lot of <laughs> things people don't like, I like eh. Okay, lah. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I like to organize. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like to You should phrase it In a different mm. way Like what? What other people like But you don't like I just did No she meant it What you like That other people don't like Yeah People don't like to organise And plan. No what do you not like That other people like Oh what I don't like But other people like Yeah yeah huh? Oh okay That's my first question And then she had trouble ask, Answering oh, okay, this question If you, if you okay. rephrase it To that way Then I think I can uh, Oh uh, any trendy things mm. You don't like Yeah you don't have to be in China. Yeah. A follower, follower. Or rather like, I don't understand why. Yeah. Oh. I don't understand why people, if, everybody goes to the thing and I'm like, eh, okay. Okay, what if like, macam, let's say your phone case or otter box. Uh-huh. If it's a trend, would you still buy it? Unless there's a very good reason for why people like it, then I'll be like, okay. Okay. Then I understand. Okay. okay. Many onions, layers like onions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say it's simple. I just, uh, I like to fold laundry. Full laundry. Yeah. You don't like to fold like laundry. laundry. You like to fold laundry. I'm answering my uh, reverse question. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I choose to answer. What do people not like doing that I like doing? Okay. I like to fold laundry. Really? Mm-hmm. Doesn't your back hurt? Now that you mentioned my back that, hurts. I don't like to wash toilet. Ooh, <laughs> I like I to wash hate toilet. It. I oh. absolutely hate it. I like to wash toilet. Yeah. That's my role in the house. Is it? Any wedding, any pertunangan, I'm there to wash toilet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> One day before not easy man you get all so the yeah. all the what do you call it grime the in, what do you call grout. this Time. grout yeah <laughs> that's like the hardest I asked Hazra before what tools she used and she had a list of tools yeah. she used to clean toilets stain and mold all the way right oh you used that okay yeah but then like, 
Menusuk ke hidung Of course lah Wear mask Wear gloves yeah. You not professional right <laughs> We do the whole thing <laughs> But you know what I wish That is in Singapore Scrub daddy Or like scrub mommy There's this brand In the US I'm Zana I'm not a pandai Benda-benda macam ni You can always learn <laughs> It just sounded <laughs> like my mom <laughs> So You can learn Okay Next Alright next. next How do you sleep What I position just, I just think about Sam Smith How <laughs> do you sleep <laughs> What position Oh Fetal Fetal means on your side ah. Yeah Like this On your side okay What should I Like this <laughs> Your hands <laughs> like this. I sleep on my right. Uh-huh. Also, like fetal position. Sunah, sunah. Stay on your right. But I need to have like bolster. Where in between your legs? Oh yeah, lah. Okay, I don't know. Okay, you hug it or something. In between my legs. Oh okay, okay. I sleep um like this with a pillow covering. So only my mouth is bleeding. <laughs> <baby. laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah, then my mom every time she sees me sleep, she get very scared. She thought I would. She scared I suffocate. <laughs> but I cannot sleep if I don't have anything on top of my face like this. I cannot sleep like that. I cannot sleep in a facing up position because um my your, double chin oh, is too heavy. Huh? So <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like your sinus or something. It weighs my throat down. Really? <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> but you know that is a way for you to sleep. Properly, uh, ergon- ergonomically, uh, for back pain. So you have to like, much like, create a fort. Uh, one pillow under your arm, one mm-hmm. pillow under your, the other arm, and then two pillows at the back so that you elevate your back, and then one more pillow underneath your knees. That's a lot of pillows. Yeah, that's one, a lot of pillows. Two, three, five pillows. Yeah, including the one. Cheeks for you to sleep better. This you. <laughs> no, I'm just counting how many pillows I have in my bed. I think I have five. Okay, enough for you to try. Okay, I shall try. Mm. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Let us know five. if you sleep better. Okay. <laughs> Probably not lah, because I have trouble sleeping anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is the... I have this question, but I think it's going to be very difficult. So I'm going to skip this one and just go to just the last say, one. Just say, just say, just What is the worst thing about you? That I hate about me? Not, no, what is the worst thing about you? I'm late all the time. Okay. My cousin hate it Like We can go days Not talk to each other Cause I'm, I was late Why are you late? I like to take my time Like if I'm late I'm late long <laughs> ah. Very toxic I'm so sorry I see Because like Some people think It's like Not respectful For the other yeah. party like, Especially when that person Is hungry Yeah So And the person made the effort To come yeah. earlier But in my defense I had work so I just cannot let go of my work sometimes. Okay. So I will be late. <laughs> okay. Worst okay. thing about me, direct. Hmm. Oh. It's a very polarizing thing. It's either you like it or you don't like it. Yeah, unfortunately. For me, I cannot hide my expression. I think. Mm. I think if I don't like something, if I have a negative opinion on something, uh, I, can, I can say that I like it, but you can tell on my face I don't like it. Sometimes, I don't know if you notice, but if I hear something, then like, it triggers me. I'm like, hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get very stressed when you do that in meetings. <laughs> like, what is the problem? Like, just say it. <laughs> but I'm just thinking. I'm not like, it doesn't make sense. But like, very expression. But it's just like, yeah, and I cannot hide it because it's just, like, sometimes if I can, the example I think of is like, when I go, <laughs> it's very like, Far off, but when I go like uh, fabric hunting, with my mom, mm-hmm. then we go. Then like uh, she will ask it. They will not follow you, right? Oh, bling, cheap, bling. This guy in chanting ni baru. Yeah, yeah. Ni chanting. Then I'll be like, not nice. Uh-huh. Then I will just say in front of like the person. And then my mom just like, jangan macam gitu. You, it's not nice. But I, I, just, I don't want to waste the, the person's time. Uh-huh. And then like I just want to be quick because there's so many shops and like. Mm. But um, Yeah I have not learned Now to be better So I just If she asks me That I don't like it uh, I just walk away Walk away <laughs> just like, mm, I do I not away. want to engage <laughs> In yeah, the conversation like, mm, I shall remove I myself see, see, mm. I've learned that It is okay for you to say ah, Okay I'll come back later Oh yeah, yeah, yeah But you don't come back I learned from very young My sister Always say Oh um, I need to consider it mm, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. And it's okay To come back It's okay They, sh- they should be open again <laughs> okay Okay Last question Oh dah da. Oh dah No one more question okay. Since we're on topic of this Today um, What is your favourite Friends character Or the one that you can Relate to the most My favourite Okay mine is Chandler <laughs> Why Because uh, I like his uh, Humour mm, Okay It's just Do you funny. watch Friends? 
Yes. I think the character that is most like me is probably Monica, but I don't really like Monica. So mm. you don't like someone yeah, like so you. So probably I don't like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. I I really like Phoebe. Yeah, Phoebe. I is really like her because mm. like she's so happy go lucky, right? Mm. And at some point she's sensitive when it comes to like friendship mm-hmm. and family. So like I li- I like that. And she's so like free spirited. Yeah. What's her What's song. her What's her song? Smelly cat, smelly cat. Embracing <laughs> her, yeah. her difference. Uh, after that, there's this one. Her her name Regina, George. No, uh, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I, I can't remember. Banana hammock. It's another movie altogether. <laughs> I don't know. No, oh, Regina George. Yeah, Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Yeah. So I like her, but I don't think I'm her. Okay. Darren, Monica. Monica. The character that uh, yeah, Monica. Yeah. You think it's you? Yeah, but I don't like her. Okay, I like Ross. I think Ross is also like a nerd. Like I mean, he's Ross. very awkward in a way that is very relatable. Also, I think Ross is nice when he is with Rachel and like how he cares for her. Oh, but I just can't understand how she's so um indecisive. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Oh. I cannot as well. Okay, yay! So now we're gonna talk about F R E N D I E N D S. Get the spelling friends. <laughs> I thought it's F W E N S or Z X Z X. So, throughout your life, what is the most that you've ever um what is the one thing you learned from making friends? Um we had a sharing session recently with our team and like one of them uh, one person brought up about how it's very important to surround yourself with people that matter mm. and like not just people who matter uh, but people who like enrich you and mm. like you can learn from and value add to your life and I think that's like yeah I think that's very um, I could relate to that but as I also it's been many years I think all my friends are like from school mm. uh, I don't think I've made any like unless it's like work apart from that, like any friends outside, like how, no avenue. Like how do you, is there a place? Is there like a Tinder for friends? <laughs> or Sometimes is there like use a, Tinder for friends. People do use Tinder and yeah. coffee meet ba- meets bagel to for friends. For friends, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. But like, uh, yeah, I guess that is a preconceived notion lah for the, those apps. But uh, yeah, as adults, I would like to meet new people. Mm-hmm. And I think normally they do that by like Your joining groups. Or neighbors, like, huh? My neighbor, <laughs> my neighbors are people <laughs> who have been group. in the same group, same floor for like thirty years. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. I think um, not that I've lived very long, <laughs> but if you live longer than Zag, <laughs> okay, so one year longer. You have lived at least two decades, so yeah, it's fine. Okay, okay. okay, you're no longer a child. Chat. <laughs> at least let me just let me talk. <laughs> I think. Um, uh, I feel like I haven't feel like I used to talk about it before but then like I haven't mm, gotten to the stage where much like, I make the conscious decision to avoid some friends have not have not okay and I don't know if I would ever reach that stage because like I'm the person like why would I want to waste this mm-hmm. so, like but at the same time it's like sometimes we get very tiring mm-hmm. especially when your values don't align mm-hmm. so I would say um, I'm a very casual friend. Like, I'm a floater. People call me the floater. Like, I can be here, I can be there, I can be brown, I can be blue. I, can <laughs> I knew you were going to say that because it sounded like a song. You know, this song was playing on the radio. Then I was like, why is this song coming back on the radio? And then like, but my husband was like, but that is a TikTok song. I'm like, what? I see. That's a one wonder. I see. Oh, yeah. That's why. So that's why I think about my friends now. Not my friends, but then my okay. friends in general. Uh, okay, I think I am somewhat similar to you and you. Uh, whereby most of my friends are based, uh, like a product of the circumstance that I was in, be in school, CCA, or like any random things, mm-hmm. events or something like that. Lah. Uh, then for you, in terms of like the floaters, right? Yeah, I don't really hold friendship that tightly because I think once you do, you tend to get disappointed. Um, so... I'm a casual friend as well. Uh, anybody who comes into my life, I, I believe that everybody has something to offer. They mm-hmm. teach certain things about either yourself or about them that you can try mm-hmm. to uh, replicate into your own lives. 
uh, yeah, so I don't really expect much from my friends. Mm. Mm. I noticed that um, as when I was younger, I try to I stick to people who I feel like I could relate to like closer like, in terms of uh, hobbies, in terms of like things that we like, don't like. But like as you get as I age, uh, I could be friends with people that I could probably don't see myself getting along with when I was younger. And you just, uh, yeah, you just find ways to get along. You know, mm-hmm. like you don't have to have exactly same similarities, but you can be friends, but obviously maybe not as close as your other friends. But if you think about like your circle of friends, it's probably like different rings, right, yeah. around you. And you have people who would like, you can rely on, you can trust on, and there are people who are still friends, but you don't mean as often, but you know that they're there. You ever wondered, like, talking about the Friends show, you know, there was one episode where Ross pretended uh, fake his death to see <laughs> yes. him come yes. to his funeral. Yeah. And, like, only, like, one person came. Yeah. Yeah. And to pun, tak cakap dengan perempuan tu. Ah, okay. Right. But, because, yeah, he's supposed to, You mean he never talked to the person like, when he was alive? Yeah. Ah, okay. It was oh my not God. expected. I did something similar before. Not to fake my own death, but I did, like, a social experiment on my mm-hmm. own life lah. Like, uh, before I mean social media was like a huge thing back then so everybody was on board and then I think it was Facebook um, you know you have a wall and then suddenly everybody on your birthday will like wish you happy birthday right and I was like since when do all these people know my birthday so mm-hmm. I okay fine I remove my birthday from my uh, social uh, profile and mm-hmm. see who actually remembers yeah. now I'm like ah okay then after that I went ov- uh, overboard and then like deleted my Facebook and see okay so now social media is gone who actually remembers my birthday yeah. now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like this social media things actually help to remind you of like other people's birthday. As For someone sure. who don't, remind, don't remember people's birthday. You're a bad friend. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> no, but I don't actually go to people and like, happy birthday to them. Mm. Like, mm. but honestly, when it was at the height, it was like a thing. Like, yeah. Especially when someone wishes you, you feel obliged to have to like remember and yes, wish them back. And yeah, if not, it's going to be a bit hoo-ha. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So it's like, now it's not so much. Like, now if, if a close friend forgets to wish me, it's fine. Yeah, I feel like I get a free pass to forget or to wish them also. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, eh? Yeah. It does. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was going to say like, um, sometimes I wonder if um, I'm no longer around how many people will come to my funeral <laughs> I, will will, come. I will have a lot of friends to come Mm-mm. or acquaintances that's true but yeah I wonder that sometimes yeah mm. I honestly as much as I don't care about what people think of me mm-hmm. I get very insecure when I hear that people talk about me right I'll be like huh, what what huh, about me yeah Oh, what do I do? Oh, you know, so Why yeah. does it have to be negative? It's something <laughs> positive. It could be, yeah. but it's just that, like, I have never been the center of attention mm-hmm. so much so that people will talk about me. Mm-hmm. So when someone actually talks about me, I'm like, this is something rare. Okay. Good or bad? You like it? Mm. If it's negative, I don't like it lah. Mm. I'll be like, what? What did I do wrong? Mm. You know. <clears throat> but yeah. I think that's why I, I prefer friends which are direct as well. So if uh, I want their opinion on something, even though the truth hurts, mm. they will tell me up front and I'm like, ah, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it gives you a very good perspective from their point of view as well. Uh, and you can grow. Lah. But actually, how do you choose your friends? Choose um, your friends. Mm. Oh, that's a very... I think when you ask me that question, I just have to go back to the first time I meet them and how I meet them. Like different different ones my closest friends are friends from secondary school that I still keep in contact with now um, my yeah it's just people who have known me before until now I think mm. yeah it's I a difficult sorry it's not an easy question yeah it's not mm. I, I don't think I make an, a conscious effort to make friends actually <laughs> it's a combination of like circumstance and yeah, yeah. like at the same, right place right time it's like actually just now you mentioned about like what uh, from your lifetime, what is the one thing that you learn about friends or from your friends, right? One thing that I've actually learned is that if you want to talk to people, be the first person to talk to. Mm. Because I, I think most of the time people will not talk to you unless you make the first move. So if you are able to make the first move, then you'll never know what will happen after that. That's how I make friends last mm. time. So, yeah. Mm. I, I've 
tested it out before. So one event or like one camp, right? I just sit down there, be a loner and see whether, see whether anybody talk to me. Nope. Then the next event, I'm like, okay, uh, today I shall try. Be the first person to talk to. Mm-hmm. And that's also how I make friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like interesting. Mm-hmm. Lah. It actually works. You can try yeah. it. I feel like, um, I mean, because it's just the way that I am, but then like, I feel, I don't feel scared to just like, say, um, oh, where is this? To someone I don't know. Mm-hmm. So like, I have this friend that we met at a masjid. Mm-hmm. And then we talked and we at each other on Instagram. And so like somehow we just, caught, just like talk normally. Mm-hmm. Like as if we know each other for a long time. Mm-hmm. But it's a very lighthearted friendship that doesn't doesn't require like commitment or like whatever just like whenever we see each other we'll talk whenever we see each other on the street we'll say hi mm. so I like this kind of relationships but I also feel like um oh, there's one thing in my head just thought I just slipped my mind again we'll move on to you first <laughs> <laughs> um why did I want to say yeah no I actually uh, going back to one rule say like I've always been the one that's like afraid to make the first conversation. So I've always waited for people to talk to me first. It goes back to like the whole, maybe not really public speaking, but like afraid of making the first move, mm-hmm. I guess. So a lot of my friends are like either friends of friends or uh, people who like come to me and say, oh, hi, like, are you here for whatever, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Okay, now I remember again. So, <laughs> yeah, I find it fascinating that um, sometimes people don't regard. There are different stages of friends, so like acquaintances, yep. friends, yep. and then like close, close friends. friends yep. But I somehow don't have that. Mm-hmm. Which I feel like everyone is my friend mm-hmm. in school. But like, I just find it very fascinating how like, oh, we're just high by friends, or like we're just high by acquaintances. Really? You don't have that, huh? You don't have like. No. Very close friend. No, like if I say like introduce, if I introduce an acquaintance mm-hmm. in actual fact, I'm like, oh, this is my friend. No, I also do that out of convenience lah. But I don't actively also like label people in how else, how else will you introduce them? Sorry, uh, oh. <laughs> I don't understand. No. That's true. <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> yeah, so not my do. my not so like, close oh, friend. Oh, she's my colleague. Yeah. Mm. Like, oh. oh, he's my coach. He used to be my coach, not a friend, but he used to be my uh. coach. Or oh, he used to be my teacher. Right. Uh, mm. I met her at this event. So there's multiple ways to avoid the word using friend, I think. Mm. If you want to wow. be very accurate. You have to like, uh, really go off your way to... M- maybe that's not for her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is my friend. <laughs> How are you introduce Nuru to someone? My friend. Your friend. My friend. My mm. friend and colleague. <laughs> Friendly. <laughs> So like people know who she Friendly is in my life friend. and where she come from. Colin. My workplace. She come from my workplace. Okay. But yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I already never thought about it like that. But who's your who's your who say who would you say your closest friend? That's the thing, I don't know. Mm. Sure, okay, I have close friends, but we don't call each other close friends. You don't, yeah, you don't do that. Yeah, I, you don't. Obviously, you don't do that, I feel. You don't say like, hey, you're my best friend, you're, I'm your best friend, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yuck. Like, you. <laughs> yeah, you know, there are some people who actually do that. But is that yeah, something that you know? Do, no? PFF. <laughs> no, not necessarily. There are some people who do that, right? It's because like, uh, there are certain instances that I know of um, that someone regards the other person mm-hmm. as their best friend, but then that supposed mm-hmm. best friend mm-hmm. don't regard the, that person mm-hmm. as a best I friend. see how that's It has happened before. Yeah. And it's very yeah, it's such mm. a pain. So that's why they have like that. Okay, you you consider me as your close friend, right? They say, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. So to get that security okay. in a way, lah. Mm. Well, if someone does ask me that outright, and that person probably is not someone I like Want to regard, regard as, as very close, close that would take me aback. Yeah, yeah, traumatic lah. To be honest, you, so, right? you ask you to reevaluate. Like, what if like someone tells you like you're my best friend? So Are you no. mine? No. How would you yeah. say no? Oh, so yeah, so a, a, what? Like how yeah, you say it properly? Yeah, uh, yeah. So let's say I'm someone uh, who like you just re- you regard as a an, a friend, mm. not as a very close friend. But then mm. like I'm saying to you, like I regard you as someone I really trust my life with. Like, do you regard me the same? It depends on the person, right? Yeah. So it would depend on the context, lah. Okay. But if I really do feel the same way, then I say yeah. No. What if you don't? 
Or how I would you approach the situation? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, then I'm like, sorry to say this. I need to break up with you. <laughs> no, lah. Oh, kidding, lah. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. I have not planned it out. Yeah, yeah, So I yeah. don't really know. Be like, hmm. Oh, thank you. I'm flattered. <laughs> I don't know. Like, do you want a drink? <laughs> thank you. Like, I need some time to think about it. <laughs> I'll come back to you. <laughs> oh, that must be very devastating for the other person. Yeah, yeah. but. Huh. I guess if the person is coming outright to us means they want to know whether mm-hmm. you your honesty so whether it's something they want to hear or don't want to hear they just want to know which I but think but I guess I'll be more one I'll be wondering why the person feels that way you know mm-hmm. I, I will want to un- uh, understand a little bit better mm-hmm. so that see whether I like should I also to. do the same thing maybe I don't know need an emotional support and if that person really needs my emotional support I'm like sure I can be your best friend whoever you need me to be yeah right mm, differs every situation There's so many different ways of looking at it yeah mm. okay hey guys thank you for watching this episode hopefully you learn or like you How hear you our tips friends? on making friends mm-hmm. <laughs> um yeah watch our last watch our past episodes if you haven't yep In the meantime, thank you for watching this episode to the Bye, Bye friends. <laughs> Bye friends. Are they our friends? <laughs> you say everybody is your friend. That's so, true. Bye friends. <laughs> <laughs>If you're in Singapore, you'll know that food is our number one priority. Food and Singaporeans are practically inseparable. It's literally the best ingredient for any occasion, any stress you got going on. You know, food solves everything. Because, for example, if it's your birthday, let's go eat. You got a promotion. You deserve a treat, sayang. You feel like pulling your hair out. Come on, I'll bring you for supper. Yeah, you get what I mean? It's literally perfect for everything. And of course, we want to tell you everything about it. Like places you didn't know were halal. Or 12 new halal places you need to try this week, for example. We are determined to make your tummy bigger. And bigger, and bigger, and bigger than last year or any time. So follow us on the blog to get all the insights at www.halaltrip.com And of course, we are also on every social media platform at Halal Trip. Alright guys, thanks for listening. So we'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to give us a shout out on anchor.fm slash the Halal Travel Podcast. Your voice message could be featured in our next episode. Yup, and if you have any advertising and collaboration opportunities, contact us at info at halaltrip.com. That's I-N-F-O at H-A-L-A-L-T-R-I-P dot com. Also, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Halal Trip. We're also now on Telegram and TikTok. Until next time, get inspired, go and inspire others. Bye.